Good morning Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another weekly love read. In this reading today we're going to take a look at a no contact uh, situation. So you are currently in no contact with the person that you are thinking of dealing with or connected to in love or romance. Okay, Whether it's three days, whether it's three weeks, right now you're not in communication okay and you haven't heard from them or maybe you've stopped talking to them whatever the situations uh sagittarius this is a general reading feel free to like share subscribe if this reading is resonating with you of course i wouldn't want you to try to force this reading if it doesn't sound like it's for you uh, this will be good for sun moon rising and venus sagittarian placements out there you can reverse the roles in these readings and to the cross watchers, feel free to take the messages as your own. If you would like to work with me, Sagittarius, then all the details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the show more section below. Let's begin. Okay, let's see what it is that you need to know when it comes to this situation. Okay, there's a three of swords. Hmm. Okay, tell us more about the Three of Swords, Spirit. Tell us more about the Three of Swords. Tell us more about this Three of Swords. What is it that Sagittarius know, uh, needs to know when it comes to this Three of Swords? So typically the Three of Swords speaks to uh, third party situations okay uh, there may have been strong betrayal here especially with the hierophant showing up okay the hierophant is major arcana for taurus okay so a taurian may have betrayed you here they may have let you down if not it, it could have it, this could be seen as someone that you were invested in or committed to okay and this person let you down this person broke your heart this person just disappointed you now i do have to say um sagittarius that this person is currently hurting they are hurting or there is evidence of pain surrounding this person's energy Okay, there could be some sadness here. Um, it, it still feels very tender and raw for this person. I do get a sense here with the Daughter of Wands that they would like to talk to you. Okay, this person wants to communicate. They want to talk to you. They want to reach out. They may feel this urge or this desire to contact you. Yeah, this is clearly with the Hermit card. This is clearly a no contact situation, possibly due to some betrayal or third party energy. Okay. This person may have even gone behind your back and said things about you behind your back that maybe you caught wind of okay that's not going to be for everyone yeah look at that there's the seven of swords strong betrayal energy here this person knew what they were doing they were trying to get away with it They were trying to keep something a secret. They were trying to keep something from you. And I feel that you found out. You found out or you got caught, you caught wind of this. This person thought that they, that they could keep a secret from you or that they could keep something hidden from you. Mm. let's find out more let's find out more spirit tell us more tell us more what is it that Sagittarius needs to know what is it that Sagittarius needs to know 
when it comes to this no contact situation? Tell us more. Cards are quiet. Oh, here we go. Sun of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sometimes I read the Sun of Pentacles as non committal energy. Okay, non committal. This is someone who takes a very, very, very long time in making a commitment but once they do commit then they're in it for the long haul okay there's the ten of swords okay we've got the mother of swords wow this is air energy gemini libra aquarius some truth came out for sure mother of swords this is a very observant energy and I feel this is you you were carefully observing this person or keeping a watchful eye on this person Sagittarius but you saw through this person so you got clarity on who this person was or what they did because the mother of swords she's the truth seeker so some truth was revealed to you. Look at this, Ace of Swords. Yeah, some, some truth came out here. Some truth came out. You've got the Ten of Swords here as well. So I feel, uh, Sagittarius, that maybe you were the one that put this connection to, to an end. Okay, because there was too much betrayal here. But I feel that this person, I feel like this person is hurting because you have detached from them. I, I get the sense here with the Ace of Swords that they would like to talk to you. I'm getting strong communication coming in from this person. It could be with the Son of Pentacles. Now they are starting to feel remorseful or regretful for the things that they did to you. Because when I look at this Son of Pentacles, he kind of looks sad. He's kind of hanging his head in shame or embarrassment. Okay, tell us more. What is it that Sagittarius needs to know? Wow, look at that, Son of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell us more about this Son of Cups spirit. Okay, Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Son of Wands. Yeah, this person is feeling inspired to come towards you. They still feel attracted towards you. Um, there could be a bit of a player-like energy surrounding this person. I feel with the Nine of Swords here that this person is all up in their head over you, Sagittarius. Okay, they're all up in their head right now. Yeah. Now with the Son of Wands and the Son of Cups, I do get a strong sense that this person wants to take action towards you. The reason being is because I feel with the Six of Cups here, uh, Sagittarius, that this person is struggling to move on. Okay, they're still stuck on this connection. Because mm. this is speaking to the past. Six of Cups is speaking to the past. But the past is still holding this person back. And you're that energy for them. So I feel like this person is struggling to move on. Mm. There's a sense of not wanting to give up. 
here with the Nine of Wands. This person is not wanting to give up. They may still want to fight for the connection. But every day that goes by, it, it's starting to feel uh, like it's getting harder and harder for this person to kind of hang in there. I, I do get a sense with the Son of Cups that this person still has romantic feelings for you or they still like you. Okay, don't be surprised if this person, if they do reach out, they will try to charm you. Okay, they will say all the right things. They may even say here with the Two of Pentacles, because I'm looking at this butterfly, they may say things like, I, I will change. Yeah, but look at that. There's a magician fell out in the reverse. Okay, but you're already onto it. You were the Queen of Swords earlier, Sagittarius. You're onto it. You know that this person may be bending the truth with the magician in reverse. Ultimately, at the end of the day, with the magician in reverse, it's telling me here that this person doesn't have what it takes to make this relationship work or make it worth your while. Let's clarify this Son of Cups. The Sun in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel that you have stopped contact with this person. Okay, I feel that you have pulled back any of your attention yeah you've you've pulled back your attention and you've stopped communicating with them if this person has reached out to you i do see you not responding okay those eight wands are in reverse which tells me here there's no forward movement you will not move forward on this relationship. Mm. Let's have a look at this Three of Swords, shall we? Tell us more about this Three of Swords. There's a judgment in reverse. You're not going to want to resurrect this connection. This person may want to resurrect the connection, but I don't see you resurrecting this connection. I don't see you giving this person a second chance. Hell no. I don't see you doing that. Look, there's a Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck again. It's over. For you, it's strictly over, Sagittarius. So I feel like it's pretty straightforward reading. Um, but you know what? This person may deep down inside really sense from you energetically that it's over. Hence why they are in regret now. Okay, because I do see them uh, embarrassed and upset with themselves. All right, let's grab a last parting message or advice. We've got chop wood. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it, Sagittarius? You're, you're cutting free. Chop wood. You're cutting yourself free from dead ends <laughs> that's what i'm getting i'm getting dead wood dead ends you know um yeah you i feel like you're cutting yourself free from a dead end because i even see this ten of swords as a dead end it's like a, it's an end that's not going to get you anywhere it's a dead end and i see you cutting yourself free from that Can we clarify the chop wood, please, Spirit? Tell us more about these chop wood. Yep. Look at the card that fell out, which is the Seven of Cups. This is all smoke and mirrors, guys. Okay, this is like, it, I knew it was too good to be true. Okay, this person may have presented one way, which I feel like you were initially attracted to them, 
you were attracted to what they were all about. But when the dust settles or when the dust settled, you saw through this person. Okay, you may even view this person as someone who was entertaining other options or you're at this point, Sagittarius, where you're like, no, I'm looking out to see who else is out there now. Okay, you're, you're sifting and sorting through these cups is what I'm getting here. So there's your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comment section below which part best resonated for you. And until my next video, guys, take care. Bye.